Hey guys, welcome back to some more Fatal Frame. Um, in the last episode, we defeated the editor and we also ran into the grandma long arms, as I so lovingly called her. Um, but we did manage to defeat her too after I died and had to backtrack a lot. Uh, and then I went back to the beginning to save. So we're just going to go ahead and hop right in where we left off. Um, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads and live streams from me. And let's get started. Alright, so we are back in the hallway where we fought the creepy lady with all the arms. Um, I think we can go this way. With the double doors, if I remember. Okay, it was just a closet. But we got a waterfall, which I think we needed, so. The stupid house and its stupid mirrors. Um, this way I think is the steps, right? Yeah, okay. I don't think we could go this way. I think the door was locked, but since we defeated that goat, we captured that ghost, it might be unlocked now, so let's see. Turn. To the side. Nope. Okay. Okay, so back down the steps we go, and we'll explore that area, and hopefully not get attacked again. We'll just start ducking in rooms and exploring them and see what we can find. Okay, I remember we did come in here for like a split second. But I don't think we found anything. Oh, there was something right here, if I remember correctly. It was a diary, a dark red stain, as if blood has flowed there. But I can't get through here. I know it's a sliding door. Ooh. Creepy. Nothing. I'm just waiting any second for something to attack me. This is weird. Is this a window? Yep, the window is nailed shut from the outside. I can't look outside. This looks like more blood. And she immediately looks to the right, which does not make me feel good about life. Oh, it's another window. Oh, shiny object. Good film. Good film is good. Wood is nailed to the window. Unless it means uh, that we're going to fight something. Hard. Nothing. Back through the door. Okay, finally a different room. Oh, oh my god, I totally thought that the wall was moving, but it was just the reflection uh, from the from the uh, flashlight. Wood stands in the window. Oh, I have such a bad feeling about this. Is that a door? Something is reflecting light in the dark. Sacred water. What the hell is sacred water? Uh, water from the sacred mountain springs. It fully restores energy. Sweet. I'm all about that. We're not really missing much in the way of health at the moment. But I'm sure I'll be needing it because I'm terrible at... <laughs> Hi, Mox. At uh, capturing ghosts. A shiny thing at your feet, not the window. Uh, there's an old book of rice paper on the ground. It's written in charcoal ink. Research scrap. Uh, the Mystery of the Rope Maiden. Among the few documents found on the ritual mention the rope shrine maiden is made many times. Her arms, legs, and neck are bound by five ropes. However, no documents discuss the role she plays in the ritual. One theory is that she is a sacrificial lamb, but I find it hard to believe that such a cruel ritual is practiced. I put the book describing the Himoto family in my file. Well, this chapter is called The Strangling Ritual. <laughs> Mox is just casually taking a bath in the background over here. Something is wrapped around the handle and it won't move. It looks like it's hair. Ugh. What is with hair and all of these Japanese, like, horror stuff? Like, it's just so creepy. 
corpse party had hair, the grudge had hair. Oh god. Oh god. Where you at, bitch? I could have swore I saw it. I'm <gasps> God! <laughs> oh, holy shit! Oh, holy shit! You sneaky asshole. I hit her! Oh my god, I totally hit her! Okay, hold on. We're gonna heal really quick. God, she scared the bejesus out of me. recording. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. Whew. Now that I've had my daily heart attack, we can go about on and look out. If I remember correctly, this just makes a big giant loop. There are buttons with characters. This device must open the door. The engraving underneath, but is ga- There's an engraving underneath, but it's gouged. I can only read some of it. I can just barely make out. The Shinto ritual strangling and held on the day of from the gouged out words. I don't know any of these characters. We'll just leave that alone for now. I'm sure you can't just... I'm sure the, the, the game's not expecting you to just know those Japanese characters. <clears throat> Since this is an English port, that really wouldn't be cool. There's definitely a spirit here. Or something here. But it's not, uh, it wasn't coming up as, um, not angry. Angry is not the word I'm looking for. Hostile. Hostile. There's an old scroll among the fallen campus. Strangling ritual. On the 13th day of the 12th month, so. December 13th. A maiden cut off from the outside world for 3,669 days shall be torn apart to provide power to the rope. I put the old document in my file. That's kind of creepy. Hey, we got her. This has to be her notebook. Uh, September 11th, 6.30 a.m. I saw the woman in the white kimono again. She's trying to tell me something. She knows I have the special sense for ghostly things. The woman's name is Kitty. Oh, so it's Kitty, huh? Uh, I shouldn't get any closer with this. I don't want to get any closer. I'm scared. Put the piece of notebook in my file. Oh. 
I'm getting that creepy sense again. There's something shiny on the shelf. A spirit stone. Cool, cool. Oh, it's the door. Ooh. Some other place shows in the photo. I wonder where there's... I wonder if there's something there. I don't recognize that place. It looks like it's under some stairs. I imagine that I probably have to find whatever's there to get through that door. Since that's how the other one worked. <gasps> Please tell me this is another safe spot. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, Mox, am I bothering you? It makes me so happy to find another safe spot. I'm just hoping I can remember where the hell it is. Sparkly. Purple medicine. Thank you. What the fuck? Uh, there's an old scroll on the bare ground. Five stones document. Uh, give thanks to the five gods' protection. Place the stone representing the five mirrors in the correct location. Could you be <laughs> any more vague than that? Like, seriously? The black notebook scrap. Uh, September 13th, 9.30 a.m. We found Ogata Ogata's body. His head, hands, and feet were strangled off. Strangled off? That's weird. Um, what happened to him is just like the strange deaths that occurred here long ago. There was a photo of Ogata near him. In it, there was something that looked like ropes on his neck, arms, and legs. Probably, um, like the picture we found of the editor. I wonder if it has something to do with the rope shrine maidens and the legend around here. The girls that had ropes tied to their necks, arm, and legs, too. September 13th, 12, 10 p.m. Tomoe is acting strangely. She's been mumbling nonsense all morning. Something about ropes and mirrors. I can't blame her for going to pieces, though, after seeing what happened to Ogata. I put the piece of notebook in my file. So the crew that was staying here basically just started losing it. It does not, it does not make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. I'm like fairly certain every time I open a door that I'm going to be attacked. What is with this creepy camera angle? Controller's vibrating, but I don't see anything weird. But I'm definitely getting. Hmm. Maybe it's the window? I don't want to just keep taking aimless pictures and waste my film. But there's definitely something creepy. shift in the music it's just it just adds to the creepiness i will say that the atmosphere that the developers created in this game is wonderful like the whole time i'm playing it i just feel so on edge like at any moment i could be attacked by a ghost which i definitely think is what they were going for um oh yeah this is the store and um they definitely, they definitely did a very good job. Uh, the Shinto ritual strangling and held on the day of. I don't know how to. I'm 
I'm just kind of picking right now. Let's see what happens. Nothing happens. It looks like I entered the wrong numbers. Oh, okay, so there's supposed to be numbers on a clock. Um, well, this would be 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's only 10, though. Hang on, let's look at our files. Um, scraps, strangling ritual, the old screen. 13th day of the 12th month. But if there's only 10, then neither one of those fit. This is really nice because I was getting a little confused with who everybody was. So Miyuki Hinasaki, Miku's mother, mother and child of Miku Hinasaki, which is us. And I went in after Mufuyu, my brother, who went in looking for Takamine. And he is connected to Junsei Takamine, who disappeared. Um, but we don't know how he is connected to the Himuro family, and the only person we know about is the woman in white. Okay, so this is very, this is very, um, this is very helpful. That's not what we were looking for right now. I'm thinking we don't have all the pieces to that. Hmm. We need to find the stairs with The chest of drawers underneath of it? Is this a drawer? The hallways are painted with blood. Maybe the ghost with the long arms did it. Oh, that's, that's good and creepy. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, maybe we need to backtrack to the other end of the house because I know there was a few places with stairs there. Why am I just going in circles? Where the hell are the steps? There's a small piece of paper in the crevice. I think I can reach it. An old news article. Uh, on the night of the 3rd, the police received a report that four children failed to return home after 9 p.m. There is an old superstition in the surrounding villages about children being snatched away by ghosts, and some villagers indeed suspect that this is what happened to the four kids. Creepy. Light is shining in through the strange crevice. I can't see where it's shining from. How have I not noticed that in all the times that I've run through here? Seriously? Okay, cool. There's the steps. Let's take our little asses back up here. Oh god. I'm about to be attacked. Oh god, I saw it. It's on my right. Oh, I saw it on my right, but I don't know where it is now. Okay. This one's not too bad. Whew. Whew. That was intense, even though it really wasn't that bad. But when I saw that red glow on the save camera, I was like, oh shit. It's about to go down. It's pitch dark under the floor and I can't see anything even with a flashlight. But I did see something back here while I was trying to run for my life. I didn't even realize we could go back here. And a small piece of paper on the floor. It looks like a piece of a notebook. Research notes, September 12th. 
Now there's another rope. And another rope. Okay, so that must be once once they started like kind of losing it. I can walk all the way through there. Oh buddy. Alright. Kind of proud of that one. I didn't freak out totally. Not nearly as bad as I uh, felt like freaking out. Okay, there's got to be something else in this room that I'm missing. Uh, because I'm getting fallen candles all around and red boxes inside, but the door's open. The door's broken and won't open. Um, because I'm getting a spiritual reading from in here. So there's got to be something that I'm missing in this room. Unless it's coming from this door. I uh, get a mysterious feeling from this door. It must be sealed with the talisman. Ooh, did she take the talisman off? No. I thought she did. It's kind of an odd point of view. What? What this? Uh, there's a box for mortuary, mortuary tablet and bone remains among the handles. Maybe it's the owner. Okay. <laughs> This looks very similar to the other door. Um, this door is closed fast. Even though family crest, it probably unlocks the door, but it's broken. So that looks a lot like the, the one that's in the hallway. So that's something new. Sometimes it's hard to kind of differentiate things. Um, maybe because I'm just not, I haven't played anything um, old school in a while. Wood and earth are scattered around. Maybe somebody was going to do some repairs. Or some shit went south and... Uh, that's the fallout from it. Alright. So there's definitely more to do in that room, but we knew that. Uh, okay, here we go. Alright, so I decided to go back through all of the notes and read them because I was like, there's no way that I can't get into this door. There's literally nothing else for me to explore in this stupid mansion. And I found it in one of the researcher's notes from the editor. Okay, so, I think it's either 3669, because those were in red, or 1312. Um, 1312 will be easier to remember. So, we're going to try that one first. So, it looks like, whoa... One, three, one, two. I hope I can remember that. Oh, I forget. <laughs> um, I think this is one. there in order. It opened! Yes! Oh my god, I feel so triumphant. The door is unlocked. Hey, this looks like the one from the picture. Oh shit, ghost. The girl in the white kimono from all the notes. She wasn't creepy. Oh, okay, yep, this is definitely the the area from the picture. Uh, there's a very old Japanese chest here. I don't see anything special about it. Uh, but it was in our freaking picture. This armor is creepy. Front of the room is an old suit of armor. Okay. 
Nothing? Just some film? Like, it It looks like it can get up and, like, attack me at any minute. Okay, that's the suit of armor. I feel a powerful presence from the back of the room. Oh, creepy. Creepy. There's a chest behind the stairs, too. But boxes are in the way and I can't get to it. Okay, it's coming up blue on the filament. So that means it's not aggressive. There's something at the back of the shelf. Herbal medicine. Sweet. The cabinets seem to hold very small items. What is she looking at right here? Hmm. What is this? This is very pretty ornamental chest. There didn't seem to be anything in the chest of drawers. It doesn't even look like it has a top. Old kimonos and dolls are jumbled together in the box. All right, um, so I guess we go up the stairs. Which I don't feel good about. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything in the drawers of the chest. Uh, something's reflecting the light. Okay, spirit stone. Sweet. Can I walk this way? Kind of looks like I can. Sweet. I'm mildly terrified right now. There's several pieces of paper inside the box. Looks like part of a very old diary. Uh, May 20th. We finally gotten through the move to Himado Mansion. I had a hard time cutting through the local, cutting through all the red tape with the local officials, but just as I'd hoped, the air is fresh here. It should be good for Yae and her poor health. My daughter, Mikoto, seems to like this area too. She's made friends here already and is enjoying herself. Yae seems to think the old mansion is spooky, but I plan to do some work on it. Make it easier for her to live in once I get settled in my research. The best thing about living here is that I don't have to go out to do my research. It's all right here in this mansion. I can be right by Yae's side all the time. Uh, I put the piece of diary in my file. Who the fuck is Yae and whose diary did I just read? Alright, there has to be some way to get back there to those chest of drawers, because we obviously need back in there, uh, or wouldn't have showed up on the pictures. Doesn't look like there's anything useful. Can I take a picture? The seductress? I didn't even see anything there. A strong ghostly sense has disappeared. Oh, okay, so that probably means that that door is open now that we couldn't get through. All right, let's go save. Where the hell is my map? I keep forgetting that I have a map. Uh, does it indicate which room is a safe room? Uh, okay, it's that one in the back, so I'm going the right way. This blue part of the hallway still creeps me out. Let's be honest, everything about this game creeps me out. I didn't expect this to be an attacking ghost. I thought it would be a friendly one. And it's not. I'm upset. I'm doing pretty good, though. I haven't died yet. I've taken a lot of pictures, though. I don't think I got anything with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I only got 68 points out of that. That's fine. 
I also upgraded my camera a bit. Um, I upgraded two of the basic features. Um, nothing major uh, while I was poking around trying to remember what the hell, or trying to figure out what the hell to do. So we do have a few camera upgrades, which is pretty awesome. Right, and with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Um, I feel like we're definitely getting more into the swing of this game. Um, the ghosts still totally creep me out, but when I just run up on a one that I'm pretty sure is friendly, it's not quite as scary. So I think I'm kind of getting used to it, getting acclimated, but we'll see how this goes. It still has lots of freaky moments. Um, but I hope that you guys are enjoying this series so far. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you are. And um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.